it's very lonely being different. I wish I knew that I had ADHD when I was younger. <laughs> I think what happens to folks that are not ever diagnosed with ADHD is a lot of broken dreams. ADHD starts off being fairly easy to treat and with very good outcomes. But the longer you wait, the harder it is to treat and the more complications you have. There's a desperate need nationally for ADHD education. A pill is not enough because it's only one component of treatment for ADHD. Je pense que les, les gens qui ont le TDA, les, les adultes, doivent d'abord euh, avoir euh, des informations, être informés. On devrait avoir des conférences même sur les lieux de travail, parce que plus de 95% des gens, des adultes qui ont le TDAH ne le savent pas. We have training programs here for people with ADHD, but they're not well supported. His family doctor had referred us to a pediatrician. After waiting 18 months, we met with the pediatrician and after 20 minutes of talking with myself and my son told us that he didn't think it was ADHD, he thought that he needed more timeouts. I had been back to the doctor a couple of times saying, you know, I'm not depressed, I really don't think that depression is what the issue is. It was the psychiatrist on that team. And she said, you do not have depression. You are not depressed. She said, you have undiagnosed and untreated ADHD. Doctors training, especially medical school, has a very small amount of time devoted to ADHD, even though it is such an important matter. It is not uncommon here for individuals to have tremendous difficulty to find care for ADHD, to have to pay for care for ADHD, or to have to wait one to two years uh, to see someone who is willing to assess and help start them on ADHD treatment. There are approximately two million Canadians with ADHD. There are not enough psychiatrists specializing in ADHD to see these two million people. Invest in training for people that are already out in practice, whether they be family doctors, pediatricians, nurse practitioners, um, psychologists, um, uh, um, school people, it doesn't matter. I think schools are doing much better at integrating children, uh, much better than my day. I think they're much better at being able to accept um, the accommodations that, that the psychologists are, are recommending. But in terms of actually understanding or um, being able to facilitate the actual disability, I would still say is on the, on the weaker side. Sure. Les enseignants sont en général de très bonne volonté, prêts à collaborer avec nous, mais malheureusement, il manque euh, euh, de façon criante d'informations et de soutien. If ADHD individuals cannot access appropriate treatment, they often self-treat, and that is with marijuana, with nicotine, with alcohol, with cocaine, with opiates. So. We can do much to stem the tide of mental health disorders in this country and reduce the incidence of substance use disorder, which kills many Canadians annually, if we take a serious look at ADHD. It's important that politicians develop strategies to make sure that we distribute well, de façon équitable, que ce soit les ressources humaines ou l'accès aux produits pharmacologiques qui peuvent être nécessaires pour intervenir auprès de ces populations, des gens qui souffrent du TDAH. I think the larger truth is, if we are helping any segment of the population, we are helping all parts of the population. We all benefit. Mm -hmm.